change color and even grow a cometary tail. Their findings have led to some belief that this object may actually be made by another life form. Today there was a report about the nickel coming out of this object uh, without much iron. And again, that is a very unusual. This morning, scientists confirmed something they never thought possible. The interstellar object called 3I Atlas, the same one that's been glowing green for months, has suddenly turned blue. Not just a little blue, but bright enough to be hotter than the sun's surface. That doesn't make sense, because when objects like comets get closer to the sun, they usually turn red. The heat burns away dust and gas, and that makes them glow warmer, not cooler. But this one is doing the opposite. Now researchers are calling it the 10th major anomaly linked to Atlas. Some say it's just weird space physics, but others are starting to wonder if we're looking at something not natural at all. At first, people thought it was a camera glitch or a data error, but soon multiple observatories confirmed the same thing. The Harvard Galileo project, led by Dr. Avi Loeb, used three separate satellites, SOHO, Stereo A, and GOES-19, and every one of them showed the same bright blue light. Loeb said this wasn't just another strange reading. What they were seeing was a heat level beyond the sun's surface. Nothing like this had ever been recorded before. So now the question everyone asking is, how does a rock flying through space suddenly become hotter than a star? Normally, when something moves closer to the sun, it starts to glow red, not blue. That's because heat burns off the lighter materials first, leaving behind dust that makes the light look warmer. It's the same reason sunsets on Earth look red. The blue light scatters away, and we see what's left. But 3i Atlas didn't follow that rule. It got bluer. Instead of cooling as it released energy, it looked like it was heating up from the inside. There are only two real explanations that make any sense right now. Either this thing is somehow generating its own energy or it's made of a material that we've never seen before. And both of those ideas are terrifying in their own way. NASA's SOHO LASCO and GOES-19 satellites measured the light coming off the object and found that it was hotter than 5800 Kelvin, the temperature of the sun's surface. At that distance, it should have been at least 20 times cooler. Even Dr. Loeb admitted that if the readings are correct, then Atlas is managing heat in a way that nature just doesn't do. But here's the thing, this isn't just some random comet doing weird things. This blue shift is the 10th major anomaly linked to 3i Atlas. And when you look at them together, it starts to feel less like chance and more like design. The color change is just one piece of a much bigger puzzle. Over the past few months, scientists have logged 10 separate anomalies around 3i Atlas. Each one breaks a different rule of space science. When you add them up, the odds of all this happening by accident are said to be less than 1 in 10 quadrillion. Here's what's been confirmed so far. First, the object entered our solar system within 5 degrees of the ecliptic plane, a near-perfect alignment that almost never happens by random chance. Then in July and August, it did something no comet has ever done before. It ejected material toward the sun instead of away from it. Spectroscopy tests revealed something even stranger. The object has more nickel than iron, the same mix you'd find in man-made metal alloys, not natural ones. Its entry path also matches the same area of space that produced the 1977 WOW signal, one of the most famous unexplained radio signals in history. And if that wasn't enough, 3i Atlas is made up of only 4% water, while normal comets are mostly ice, between 80 and 90%. And now the blue color shift might be proving that this thing has an internal heat source of its own. Scientists are still studying four more anomalies that could include small changes in its movement and strange infrared patterns that don't match normal space dust. Dr. Avi Loeb, the same Harvard scientist who led the investigation into the first interstellar object Aumuamua, has now said his probability scale for an intelligent origin just moved slightly above 4 out of 10. That might sound small, but when a cautious astrophysicist like Loeb says something like that, it means he's taking the idea seriously. Because 3i Atlas isn't acting like a rock. If it's really managing its own heat, something called active thermal management, then it's not just surviving the sun's heat, it's controlling it. That would mean we're not looking at a space rock at all, but at technology. Technology that's far beyond anything we've ever made. 
During perihelion, when it was closest to the Sun, 3i Atlas was hit with nearly 770 watts of solar energy per square meter. That's enough to melt metal, but instead of burning up or fading red, it got bluer and even brighter. Between October 21st and 29th, 3i Atlas slipped right behind the Sun. For eight days, we couldn't see anything, but when it came back out on the other side, it looked completely different. NASA's Stereo A and GOES-19 satellites caught the whole thing. The object's halo had grown to nearly 300,000 kilometers wide. That's almost the same distance between Earth and the Moon. And its brightness? It shot way up beyond anything that could be caused by sunlight bouncing off dust or gas. When astrophysicists went back and compared the footage, they noticed something strange. That massive blue halo matched the same carbon dioxide plume scientists spotted back in August. Only now it was thousands of times stronger. There's no known natural reason for that to happen. Several insiders from congressional oversight committees have confirmed that high-resolution images from October 2nd are being quietly declassified. These aren't your average telescope shots. These might actually show structure, panels, shapes, or reflection patterns that don't match what you'd see on any natural object. Meanwhile, radio telescopes across the world are tuned in, listening for any repeating signals or electromagnetic patterns. So far, it's silent, but that silence might not last. And according to a few leaked observatory reports, 3i Atlas has already made tiny course adjustments. Nothing wild, just subtle trajectory changes that no comet should be capable of. That's the kind of movement you'd expect from something being controlled. And the timing couldn't be more intense, because in December it's coming closer to Earth than ever before. Everything now points to one date, December 19th, 2025. That's when 3i Atlas will pass closest to Earth. And this isn't just another flyby. NASA, the European Space Agency, and private observatories are calling it the biggest coordinated observation in history. Every major telescope will be locked in. The James Webb Telescope will scan its spectrum to study what it's made of, while Hubble will focus on its shape and structure. Scientists are preparing for two main signs. If that mysterious blue glow gets stronger, and if the internal heat patterns continue, then we might be watching something that isn't natural at all. It could be the first time humanity actually spots technology made somewhere else. Even Dr. Loeb has said it clearly. If this turns out to be artificial, the impact on science and history would be enormous. This time, no one's laughing at the idea, because if it's not natural, then something or someone built it. At this point, the scientific community is split into three camps. The first group thinks maybe we're missing something about physics itself, that there's a new rule of heat or light out there that we just don't understand yet. The second group believes it's all coincidence, that everything from the color changes to the orbit might just be random luck adding up. And then there's the third camp, the one that gives everyone chills, the people who think 3i Atlas might be an actual probe, something made, something sent. Any of these answers would completely change how we see the universe. Even Loeb says we're literally watching history unfold in real time, one photon at a time. And right now, those photons are blue. Whatever 3i Atlas turns out to be, a comet, a craft, or something in between, it's already forcing us to rethink what we know about space. It's pushing the limits of science and imagination at the same time. December will decide whether this is just another strange rock from space, or the first moment the universe actually said hello. So, what do you think 3i Atlas really is? Drop your theory in the comments. And make sure to subscribe because when that blue light shows up again in December, we might finally get our answer.